Hi there again, it's Tim with Far North Magic. Uh, opening up another one of these Ravnica Legions boxes that I got kicking around. Uh, I don't know. I did pretty well last time for a box with only two shocks. Usually I would think that would be catastrophe. Just because, like, the mythic slot doesn't really pull much weight. And, uh... It's not always about trying to make money, because you almost are just always incinerating money if you're opening a box. But, you have to at least come close, or you feel pretty stupid. So, sometimes, I feel pretty stupid, but... Things are just how they are, and I don't know. It's a lot of fun a lot of the time. Sphinx of Foresight as the rare, so you have to, like there is some, I guess, value in, I don't know, set up. There is some, like, value in the ripping. Ravager Worm as the first mythic. That is uh, one of the worst mythics. But as I say, most of the mythics, not worth a whole lot. Like, this Electro Dominance is just as good as almost all. Not all the mythics combined, but other than the, uh, the Hydroid Crisis. Most of those mythics are just not very good. One, two, three. We got a Lumbering Battlement as the next rare. So, I guess the main targets would be the usual suspects. We're looking for Shocks and Tithe and Guardian Project. Nikia of the Old Ways. Gravel Hide Goblin as the first foil. Pretty much looking for to see if we can get some interesting foils. A lot of the even common and common better foils have eluded us. So we got Goblin Shrine starting us off on the Shocklands. And then we got Gates of Blaze. So. Hmm. Interesting. One, two, three. Precognitive perception as the next rare. So. And then we got Biomancer's Familiar as the next rare. But. Stuff flying at me. Okay. And we got the wrong tithe. We got the tithe taker. And I uh, guess I should be more specific. Otherwise, how are we going to get it? And uh, I guess ask and you shall get or receive or however that goes. Good smothering ties. So back to back ties. And we just got uh, so we got this is the final pack of the first pile. And awaken the ish erstwhile. I don't know. Not very good, but We got, got amplifier as the next rare. That's uh, not great. One, two. Oh, what the hell did we do here? We got blood crypt. 
as the second shock. And Rumble Belt, Rumble Belt Runner as the next foil. What did I do here? We got Cinder Vines as the next rare. Guess I'm looking for blood crypt, uh, not blood crypt, breeding pool, immolation shaman. We are on pretty big heater for, uh, in other boxes, like, well, across a bunch of the others that were open, getting one almost every box, which is highly unsustainable. But and we got Endray's Forerunners. In a little bit since we opened one, but one, two, three. Ooh, we got a Bedevil, a decent rare, and Azorius Skyguard. One, two, three. We got Bedeck and Bedazzle. Mass manipulation as the next rare. And we got what do we got next? We got a foil of some sort, I think. We got Big Mythic for Gruel and Domri Chaosbringer. Ay ay ay. Domri's they just don't hold up. Common foil. Uh, Sor Sorul Caretaker. Yeah, I don't know. Domri's just don't hold up, it seems. Sure, the one got reprinted, but still pretty not good. Mirror match as the next rare. I must set up Linville, uh, Linvin, Lavinia of, uh, Lavinia or Zort. Holy cow. I have really messed up on this. Lavinia Azorius Renegade. <laughs> and I must start. There we go. Okay. And we got Gruel Spear uh Spellbreaker as the next rare. Okay, so moving on to the next stack. We are a bit behind where we'd want to be. We got Taysa Karloff, which is not bad. We only have two mythics and two shocks. So we're looking for at least a couple more mythics and at least one more shock. Oh, and we got the shock at least out of the way. Got Hall of Fountain. Oh, we got Vindicta Vampire. That's a decent foil, I think. At least it's slightly better on common than in non-foil. So imagine it's got a bit of a, should be worth something. Maybe not a whole lot, but repudiate and replicate. And what do we got going on here? We got one, two, three. We got Warren and Warden as the rare, and Summary Judgment as the foil. Okay, so we got. Six, two, three, Tomb of the Guild Pack as the next rare. We got 
Bond of Agony. That's the next row. Pack, pack my tithe. Oh, we got Mesmer uh, Mesmerizing Benthid as the third mythic. Oh, we got another uh, shock. We got a Stomping Ground. It's a nice little bonus in the back and the close. Got gutter bones as the next mythic, uh, next rare. I mean, sorry. Three more packs. Maybe hoping another mythic. Hopefully. One, two, three. Got ethereal absolution. Oh, and our rare foil is a bedevil. That's a nice one. Non foil is pretty nice, so it's good. Just wanted to get uh, two more to go. What can we get in the clothes? Oh, we got Priest of the Forgotten Gods. And last pack, suspecting, hoping for a mythic, but as I said, mythics aren't much in this set. Oh, and we got a breeding pool in the close to get to that f with a gruel gilgate. So we got this box turned out really awesome in the end now. We got a lot of foils compared, well, I guess not a lot of foils. We got nine foils. Uh, one being, the rare being the Bedevil, which is a decent foil hit. And then we got only three Mythics. Uh, none of which are super exciting. But we also got uh, all five shocks. So we would have had a chance at the five shock, uh, ten shock challenge. If this was a used box for that. And a tithe, a smothering tithe. So that's a really good, uh, panned out to be really good box. So, I don't know, better than I was expecting, for sure. So, uh, I thank you guys for stopping by and uh, taking your time to watch my videos. And uh, if you could, uh, if you like the video, like the video. If you have a suggestion, put it in comments. Uh, give me some feedback. Uh, if you could just like, comment, subscribe. Uh, that'd be great. And appreciate it. Thanks again for uh, taking your time and stopping by. And uh, try and have a good day. Take care. And see you next time.